Hey everybody, so today is uh, a video that's a little different than what I normally post, but it made me realize how diversive things are, even amongst you know folks that aren't really even in the technology space. Like, don't get me wrong, we have the age-old question, uh, R versus Python or RDF versus property graph and, you know, a number of other things. Which cloud provider is the best? Whatever it is. We have a lot of um, conflicts. But at the end of the day, most of the time we're respectful. And today I'm going to talk to you about um, something that happened to me recently where I was just minding my own business. I was actually at um, um, a local fair, like a county fair kind of thing, uh, with my family. And I was just, uh, enjoying watching animals and eating funnel cake and, you know, the things that you do at these types of things. And, um, normally when I talk to people and they find out I do, you know, data science and AI and knowledge graph and that type of stuff, you know, it's like, oh, that's interesting. What does that mean? And then it's, you know, just some fluffy conversation where maybe I tell them a little bit about what I do and, and that's really it. But in this case, I, um, my family decided they wanted to do a caricature, a uh, family caricature. And so we sat down and as you were sitting there and you're talking to the person who's doing the caricature, um, you know, they were talking to me about they wanted to start an Instagram and I was giving them tips on, you know, filming equipment and things since I do a YouTube channel. And then they asked me, what's the YouTube channel about? And I told them, oh, it's, a, it's about data science. And then they said, oh, cool. OK, so what's data science? And so I said, well, you know, a lot of people will probably understand it as, you know, you're building stuff that is, you know, got some smart stuff going on with it. You know, a lot of people maybe would consider, you know, AI as a typical data science thing that people are talking about. I did not realize what I was walking into. So for the next, I don't know, 30 minutes or more, um, I was really like very uncomfortable because um, unfortunately we had already paid for this thing to be done, the character. So I was kind of stuck sitting there and um, my uh, my family didn't really understand that I was very uncomfortable, so they really couldn't help me. They were just kind of chit-chatting to themselves. But the reason I wanted to bring this up on the channel is because it highlights the, the fear that is out there, the misinformation or misunderstanding or, you know, honestly just there's a there's a there's a lot of people in our space that um are prominent voices in ai that you know are shouting from the rooftops how everything is you know off the rails and things are going to be destroyed and and then you have the other side which also is not good and that is it's it's all puppies and rainbows and beautiful and it's perfect and it's going to solve world hunger i am I am in neither of those camps. I think that AI is a tool and it can be used for good things and it could be used for not so good things and it can just be misused by accident. Um, the whole doing bad by doing good. Like, hey, I want my students to understand all of these different books. I'm going to feed all of those books into an AI and have it summarized for them. You just committed copyright fraud. <laughs> so, whoops. You know, if you're not familiar with how that works, then, you know, you might have made that mistake. So in the situation that I found myself in at the, the county fair, <laughs> um, this individual that was doing the character for us, um, as soon as they heard that I worked in AI, they started to go on the attack. I have never had that happen before. They said things like AI is going to destroy everything and all humans and, you know, how it's, you know, like the Illuminati and like, I mean, the person obviously was kind of, I mean, they were making a character of me, but also a character of AI, <laughs> to be fair. Um, and also, you know, they seemed a little on the conspiracy theory side of, of 
things. Um, but with like AI literacy, like I, I teach that. I teach how to do things responsibly. I try to talk about the ethics. I try to cut through the, um, the hype so that people know what something actually is so you can take proper precautions. Um, I am wearing my uh, Jurassic Park shirt because, you know, just because we can doesn't mean we should, right? <laughs> like I am somebody that goes into things trying to think ethically and responsibly about things and it just didn't seem to matter um, no matter what I said. Um, and what this made me realize is it's it's so prominent now because we are on such a really good or really bad spectrum with AI. And it's it's just confusing the real problems. Because we're so obsessed with is it going to cure world hunger or is it, you know, going to destroy everything? I'm not even saying that some elements in there are things to consider. They certainly are. But there are other things that are more straightforward that are just lost in this narrative. You know, like, hey, how do we look at the cost-benefit analysis of doing this random AI thing? Can you do it without AI and it be more ethically done and less costly to the environment and to your business? Hmm, maybe that's a thing that we should talk about. And again, I'm sure lots of people are. It's the screaming mobs of it's perfect or it's evil <laughs> that, that are confusing so much of what's out there. And there's so much distrust about AI. And it is a tool. It's a tool. So just like this thing called my phone, you know, it can be used for good things. It could be used for bad things. And there's a scale thing with AI where at scale, it can do really good things or really not so good things um, because of the scale and, you know, people getting involved with it. But that's why it's so important to talk about doing things safely and not shying away from the complicated and messy and divisive and things that are just hard to figure out, those are things that we have to talk about, that we have to figure out because that's how we're going to understand what the boundaries are. And don't get me wrong, there's always going to be bad actors out there. There's bad actors that use their phone to do things that are bad. There are bad actors that do all kinds of things. But the more we talk about the responsible ways to do things, the ethical ways to do things, that what are the other ways to do things than maybe what everybody else is doing or what are regulations and um, if it's not regulations, best practices, you know, things that are not uh, required by law or whatever it might be. There's so much dialogue that's just getting run over by the hype. The hype train is real. And after this interaction where I just felt so attacked and I mean maybe you're all like oh whatever I actually don't know what attacking looks like I'm not going into the full detail here because again I don't know who from my local area watches my channel I don't want this person to be identified or people to you know say anything to them um, they are a lay person that clearly did not understand what they were talking about and as much as I was trying to educate in a respectful and peaceful manner they just they they just really wanted to start a fight and um i'm not that kind of person but i also don't feel good when i am sitting next to my family at a thing where i should be enjoying my time with my family in a totally outside of work capacity um and feeling gross and feeling like no matter what I say this person was getting more and more angry and um, it basically came down to um, I'm part of the problem. And now keep in mind, I am in a public place. I don't know, you know, if this person has other things they struggle with that I would have to be worried about. I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to make it into more than it really was, but it didn't make me feel good. I um, periodically get um, messages and videos from family members, from friends who are like, oh, this prominent person in AI said this is 
really amazing and it's going to do all these things and it's over promising or oh i saw this thing and it's from this prominent person in ai and it's saying it's all horrible and going to you know destroy everything and it just makes me realize that it's it's so difficult it's just bombarding everybody whether you're in the tech industry or not that we just we just can't see the trees from that forest and that forest is kind of on fire <laughs> so it's it's a lot and it's kind of gross and i guess the main reason i wanted to make this video is one just to share the story um if any of you have experienced something similar or have advice for when you are in situations like this please share if you feel comfortable doing so because honestly I'm not adverse to confrontation. I am, I've been a high executive at most of the jobs I've had. That comes with the territory. But I don't usually, I'm pretty mild mannered. And um, just to have like a random person on the street, like nail me to a wall because of the thing I do for my profession. And in my profession, I try to help people. I try to educate people. I try to make sure that we're trying to do it the right way. And what does the right way mean? He even said that. I'm like, I, I mean ethically. And yes, everybody can define that differently. But we as humans, we're just trying to do the best we can. <laughs> like, I don't have all the answers. Never, ever will I say I do. But it's just, it was, it was, it was hard. Um, and it's also to shine this light that I know we all talk about this in some way, shape or form about, you know, the hype, the hype, the hype, the hype. What can we do? My PSA, what can we do as an industry? So what can we do? I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm trying to do my part. I'm trying to do something by educating and helping in a layperson friendly way on my channel. I don't know. I don't know. And I do this in my, my, my personal life. You know, there's a lot of schools. Um, that I go and do talks to their their teachers and their students about AI literacy and and things like that. But you know, there's there's so much out there that is so polarizing, and it really is just hurting the entire industry, both on both sides of that direction. So, what is it that we can do? And if you have ideas, or if you know anyone that's already trying to to do good things in this space. Um, you know, make a comment uh, if you feel comfortable doing that. Let us know. Let me know. I say us as in whoever's watching this and seeing this on LinkedIn or wherever it shows up. Um, that's really what this video was about. I'm um, sorry if this was a very rambly kind of video. Um, it was completely um, unscripted. Uh, I sound a little shell-shocked still because I... <sighs> Still don't know how to really react to this. Um, so, so yeah, I just, um, and if you're, if you're experiencing anything like this, like reach out to me, my, my email for, you know, talking to me is in the description box. So if you want to do that, please reach out. And other than that, I just want to say thank you for listening and, um, I hope this has been helpful or at least enlightening. And, uh, with that, I want to thank you very much and I'll catch you next time.